Ok, we are ready. Ok, boys, we are ready, boys. Let's do this for the boys. We are ready. Let's fucking go. Freedom! Hey, what's up, bros? It's Nico here once again playing some Mage of Empires 2 HD edition and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play series. I hope you guys have, are having a nice day and today we are going to keep playing the campaign mode for the Age of Kings which is the default game. We are going to play the William Wallace campaign, the last one, the Battle of Falkir. Let's go! The only way we can hold the boggy lowlands around Falkirk is to build a castle and as many walls as we can construct in a short time. These fortifications will serve to protect our camp as we construct siege weapons with which to assault the English castle. Once the castle is constructed, Wallace himself has sworn to join our forces, and together we will attack Longshanks and his English troops. The English could attack at any time. You have some walls already, but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone. Okay, we are going to take these people to farm. These two, one more. Okay, let's mine some some stone. These guys, some wood. We have already some units. That's cool. The main at arms group two. These archers or crossbowmen number three. Number one. Of one type. You can sell them for gold at your market. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. Thank you, I already know that. Who is this villager doing here? Let's upgrade the chopping, let's upgrade the farms and let's upgrade the stone mining. You can also build towers to defend your city. Units can garrison within a tower for defense and protection, and archers can even fire out of it. Okay, everything is looking fine. Let's keep building more people. Wait, that's not good. Stone miner, huh? Let's kill this this girl here. Shh! Oh, shh! Oh. To build a castle, you must first advance to the next age, the castle age. One more here, and now we are going to build more farms. Let's get the the knights here again. Okay. The advanced buttons let you set combat states for your soldiers. A defensive soldier will be less likely to attack an enemy that comes near him. Click a military unit. Then note the combat stance buttons on the lower left corner of the screen. Attack Using the advance buttons. No attack you stance. You can also order a soldier to patrol an area between two points and guard or follow another unit. Okay. 
All we need is to have a lot of resources so we can upgrade everything and build some more units to attack. So yeah, for now we we need some more people to gather more resources for us. Everything looks pretty cool. Let's upgrade this because it gives our units more vision. The advanced buttons allow access to a new type of formation. For example, with a box formation, you can protect a weak unit such as a monk. Okay, okay, okay. We need to upgrade to the castle age. Once we have a uh, 35 population, we are going to upgrade and advance to castle age so we can improve more stuff and get resources faster. enough resources to go to the castle age you should do that soon yeah that's what we are going to do right now once this guy is out nice we are upgrading and advancing to the castle age let's uh, start improving the attack of all units this one is pretty cool because it's for both uh, melee and horses only that because the the armor is separate I have armor for horses and armor for melee melee units but it's cool to have the attack combined in, in, in one Okay, once we advance to the castle age, we are going to make more people, a little bit more farms, but everything focus on gold, because we need a lot of gold. We have enough stone for a castle, so once we advance to the castle age, we are going to build a castle right here. So far the only way they can cross the, this bribery is right here because it's like this green stuff, units can can go there. Nice. They are going to find lots of things to do in the castle age. For starters. Try building a siege workshop to make battering rounds and other siege weapons. Kill him! This guy is pretty annoying. No inactive villagers. Kill this dude, for God's sake! Right. Okay. More, more, and more villagers. We have already 16 farmers. That good. We are going to send six for gold mining. Good. Good, good, good. We are going to keep upgrading the attacks for our horses and our melee units. Everything looks pretty nice. You may need to nice. assign extra villagers to gather stone so you'll have enough to build the castle and all the fortifications you'll need. Well, we are already are building our own castle, so thanks. 
This gives our horses more speed, that's cool, 250 food, we can afford that. No inactive villagers. I'm not going to, but maybe later, but for now we don't need to finish the wall. Pickerman, that's not good. They are weak to, to arrow, so we can deal with that. Let's start improving the armor of our melee units. This is not good. Let's upgrade this. Okay. Good to know. This is not good. We need these these cool units. Let's keep improving the armor of our melee. One of your most powerful units is created at the castle. Create ten more woad raider. We are improving our our resource stuff, so our villagers can gather more and carry more. That's pretty much essential. Some units I saw yeah, I was right. Let's keep upgrading the basic stuff. Okay, everything looks fine. Let's no, let's not. William Wallace and his bold raiders on your side. The English may be in trouble. But you have a large army with plenty of siege weapons. Go. Destroy the English castle. Let's explore with this for a while. Trebuchets are massive siege weapons with a great range, available only in the Imperial Age. Remember that trebuchets must be packed to move and on fire. Okay, thank you very much. That's good. Let me check, we need some some more resources, 1000 food and 800 gold to advance to imperial age so we can build some trebuchets. Let's sell some good right here, buy some extra food, sell more good and we are done. We can advance to imperial age, that's awesome. I'm going to leave these, these boats here in stand ground so they don't move by... They keep the that position to defend this. I can use these uh, transport ships to cross the river, but I'm going to take the main door because that's cool. Let's see. Go back to mining stone. We don't need any more houses because. Uh, our limit is uh, 75. Let's check the objective. Destroy the English castle. We can keep upgrading the the basic stuff. So I don't go into upgrade this because we don't need too much stone right now. We have all the upgrades for the melee units. At least for now, in the Imperial Age, we will have uh, some more. 
Who the fuck is this guy doing? I don't know, but he's pretty much dead. Pretty, pretty, pretty much dead. Right. Okay, William Wallace. Let's back up. Right. Okay, we are almost in the Imperial Age. Pum 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 Nice, let's build some three trebuchets Let me see if I can upgrade some of this, no we can't Okay, 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 okay Let's keep upgrading this. We need some more gold. Let's sell some of this. Right. Let's upgrade the the attack first. William Wallace is full HP, nothing to worry about. Okay, we are almost done. We need to some some upgrades and we are ready to attack. I want to upgrade these special units. These are elite uh, wood riders because they were spawned with William Wallace but if I want to create some of these they won't be elite so I need to upgrade it. Once this is done we have one upgrade more for the armor. Yeah our last our last upgrade, that's cool. Let's upgrade this 1000 food, 800 gold. Let's sell some food right here. And upgrade. Let's come here with the treble chats. These are pretty cool, very long range, and they can destroy castles or walls or buildings pretty damn fast okay these are number three we have all the upgrades, we have all the upgrades here as well, let me create some of this. Yeah, let's create 11 of these guys and we will be ready. Uh, we can explore. Well, we can explore this zone. Why not? In the meantime, These units are created super fast, that's super cool. Okay, we are ready.
Ok, boys, we are ready, boys. Let's do this for the boys. We are ready. Let's fucking go. Freedom! As you can see we can take we can take the wall very fast they have no more gate so we are fucking invading yeah let's take this down let's take this down as well so far they are not giving us very almost nothing we are beating the hell out of them let's kill the town center with the trebuchets good 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 to guy pom pom to guy to guy pom pom to guy to guy pom Okay, let's disarm this and keep destroying things. So, here is the castle. Let's take the castle. Come on, boys. Let's win this. Let's get some freedom for Scotland The English castle in Falkirk is no more. The English pretensions in Scotland are surely at an end. The forces of Wallace are triumphant. You are victorious of victory. Well, that was easy. That was very easy. Let me see if we can find some bug unit. <laughs> As I say, we always have some bug unit here. Celts Wallace ally. Okay. It looked certain that we would be defeated at Falkirk. Yet, somehow, though outnumbered and outranged by English longbows, we were victorious! English castle was torn down, and a Scottish one will be built in its place. William Wallace has shown us the path to victory. Although he's but one man, he inspires great deeds in others, and many of the Scottish princes and lords have drawn their swords with his. Wallace's own sword is a five and a half foot beast, forged, of course, in Scotland. He has sworn not to rest until his sword finds the neck of Edward Longshanks. The struggle will continue, but we have learned the ways of war. Now... It is the English who will know fear. Well, that's everything for now. I hope you like this video. As always, I wish you an amazing day. Thanks a lot for watching, my friends. Please leave a comment because that's what gives me the motivation to keep doing more videos. With that being said, Stay awesome, see you soon!